Our son Rory was 12 years of age and he was playing basketball in school and he fell down and grazed his arm. Uh, the gym teacher put some band-aids on his arm but didn't clean the wound. We brought him to his pediatrician who told us that he had a stomach virus and we argued that point with her because he had a lot of symptoms that didn't tie in with the stomach virus. So we brought him to the hospital and, um, and they concurred with her diagnosis that he had a stomach virus and sent us home. Um, during the night, Rory seemed to feel an awful lot worse. And then that evening, um, his skin started turning blue. Um, and so we raced back into the hospital with him. And um, they told us that Rory was very ill and he was brought up to the ICU. That was on a Friday evening and he died there on Sunday. We began investigating to see what could kill a perfectly healthy 12-year-old boy within a few days, and we discovered it was sepsis. They're looking out for Ebola, they're looking out for AIDS, they're looking out for all other areas, but not for sepsis. Antibiotics are crucial for survival if somebody has sepsis. If our son had, got, had received antibiotics, he'd be alive today. Our son is dead, and many more are dead across this country because there are no protocols in place. So we met with some of the better hospitals in New York who had a high sepsis protocol watch. We created what were then known as Rory's regulations on protocols that all hospitals in New York State must address sepsis. Sepsis is preventable, but it has to be diagnosed. There are 5,000 New Yorkers at least are alive today because of Rory's regulations. Now, if those regulations were nationwide, hundreds of thousands of Americans would still be alive. In order to save people's lives from sepsis, that doctors and hospitals must administer antibiotics. So that is all part of responsible antibiotic usage. We believe that antibiotics can save lives, but we do believe that they must be used in an appropriate manner. So in memory of Rory, we are resistance fighters.